Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to do a quick taste of Diorama Dungeon Crawl, Master of the Living Castle. If this game looks kind of familiar, it's actually by the same devs who did Thunder Kid, and I actually liked those games more than this one. It doesn't control the best. I actually just beat the first boss, and uh, it is their attempt at a side-scrolling adventure game. And uh, you can jump, you can attack, and then you can charge up, which uh, if you have... Uh, a special ability which will activate when you fully charge up and if you look at the upper left you can see my health uh, and my uh, special charges we're gonna go on through here uh, so something I've discovered very early on don't fight enemies there's absolutely no reason to you like they don't give you anything the path isn't blocked and you are risking uh, taking damage by fighting them. Oh, there we go. And like I said before, it doesn't control the best. Uh-oh, we're good. We're gonna go up these stairs. Come on. There we go. But yeah, there's like, none of the air, the areas aren't blocked off if you don't kill the enemies. They're just kind of there. Oh, and touching them damages you. And you're like, well, what about health? Uh, you can recover health from these pots. Dang it, go away. Uh, you can recover health from the pots, or if you just get to a uh, general uh, checkpoint. Also, some of the enemy placement, kind of not fun. So you just hop past them, and look at that. I already got my health back. So yeah, like I said before, no reason to fight them. Sometimes they're in not the best places. The enemies aren't that smart as well. All right, that's one of the uh, power-ups there. We'll use it in a little bit. Oh, I fell right off the edge. We're fine. Also, hitboxes and controls, not good. Uh, I find myself falling off of stuff a lot. It's just, it's just, just it, there's something weird with the controls. It feels like they just took the engine of the other, uh, the Thunder Kid games. Uh, and I think it was Escape from Terror City. I was on that platform. Uh, and I just applied it here where in those games, the platforming was not good. Come on. But yeah, it's... I think whatever engine they're using for those other games is not suited for this freedom of movement. It's also sometimes really hard to tell how close you are to... Oh, I thought those were stairs. Uh, to tell how close you are to an enemy. Uh, yeah, but I did not have fun in the first level at all. And the first bosses were, like, insultingly easy. Uh huh. Oh, it's a jelly. Oh, okay. Like that. Uh, and the other one was a were bear that. He'd, do one, he'd only have two attacks. It was a swipe attack and then a jump attack. And if he swiped at you, you then walked up to him and you just hammered on the attack button because he would then just jump over you. But in the Thunder Kid games and Escape from Terror City, the, enemy, the bosses had like different attacks and they were randomized. This, n not so much. Like, I have no reason to attack, fight them. Cool. That was a very obvious trap. Okay. This is probably a boss. No, it's not. Come on. Like, that's annoying. Like, I'm holding right now, 
I have to actually st like stop attacking before like it's you're like locked into a position. All right, what is your gimmick? Oh, okay. Like, I do have a heavy attack. But winding up puts me at risk. I did it. Like, that's, like, insultingly easy. So these are just the enemies from the first and second area. And now we're just gonna run across. There's no power-ups, nothing like that. Oh, it's a big lizard, oh. That's, it's such a downgrade from the bosses in their other games. Oh, it's you. All right, bye. Oh my, they're actually gonna make me fight. I did it. I did it. Like, I mean, at least I guess it's cool that they're reusing a boss as a common enemy now, but, oh, hey. Oh, he had a different attack there. I st I gave up. But like, like, I, I like, it, it's like, it feels like there's almost no effort put into this. I, 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 I'm curious, actually. I was gonna see it now. I was gonna see if I could stand on the thing and just avoid all of his attacks. Also, the fact that you get, you can get hurt while you're dead. And we're done. All right. Yep. I think I took more damage from running into him than his actual sword that time. But again, like, he has two attacks. At least they seem kind of random. Also, the depth of feel or, like, the, the like, angle that I'm fighting at makes it so hard to place where I am. Nope, like that. That's... And like I said before, in the other games that they made, the platforming was terrible. Also, that, that the fact that he keeps falling off the edge is hilarious. I, yeah, so heavy attacks are absolutely useless in this uh, encounter. And it's so weird because there are other games, like I said before. Oh, well. Uh, the bosses were kind of interesting. 
And this just feels like, eh. Let's make a hack and slash game with minimal effort put into any of the enemies. The fact that I could also stun lock one of the other bosses was dumb. Nope. The fact that that the downward slash being so hard to avoid is 100% because of my viewpoint. Because in the other games, you are over the shoulder shooting so you know when the bullets are coming at you. No, no confusion. Also, the fact that his sword is uh, does not exist. One uh, at points is weird. I am technically doing Dark Souls strats of hug hugging his right side and just looping around, so... I may be punching above this guy's pay grade. Alright, come on over here. We're getting close to a wall. I don't like it. Oh, come on. I think you get the idea. I am Zero JD. This is the Expedia Fans channel. This is a, in my view, a significant downgrade from their previous titles. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.